Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos, but I also do other videos like the one you're about to see here. I've had this for probably about six weeks now and I have yet to use it because I've been waiting to actually do this video and I don't know what's taking me so long. But this is the... I guess this is the newer of the Happy Planner recipe organizers, and I ordered this at the beginning of quarantine or at the beginning of when I started working from home and staying home uh, from Joanne's uh, Joanne.com. So uh, it did arrive, and I was so excited to get it because I think the cover is just adorable. So I'm going to open this up and take all the wrapping off. And the little glue dot residue. As you can see, what's so adorable about this is that it's so simple, but who doesn't like to see French macarons? I mean, they're just, I don't know, they're too cute. What I also like about it is they're like outlined in foiling, kind of like this rose gold foiling. So you see it down the side here, these little stars, and then they outline some of the macarons. So um, they're just absolutely adorable. So getting in here, I'm gonna zoom out just a bit and I'm also gonna grab some scissors because I wanna cut this instead of pulling at it which is typically my style. I don't know why, but let's cut it so we don't warp anything. All right. So you have your traditional welcome to your happy planner page. So I'm gonna take that out. And then here, hmm, this is interesting. It comes with a market list pad and it's kind of glued at the top, but yeah, it's like in a note notepad style. So my last Happy Planner organizer did not come with anything like that. So that's nice. That's, that's actually really nice. I don't know how many sheets are here or what, but that's a nice little touch. All right, so page one, it allows you to write your name here. This favorite recipe collection belongs to and it has just a really nice and fun graphically laid out, graphically designed page. So let's turn the page and kitchen conversions. That's super handy over here in a little spot for notes. So maybe you have even more conversions you want to add here. And this divider, oh, I just love it. So the strawberries, again, if you can see, I hope the light is kind of reflecting. You can see that some of this is either outlined or the word love is written in that rose gold foiling. So it's really, really pretty. So let's look at the dividers that we have here. So we have favorites, main dishes, small dishes, soups and salads, um, healthy fare, breakfast, dessert, and miscellaneous. So let's take a look and see what all these pages look like. All right, so this is very similar to the pages in the in my old recipe planner, and I'll show you guys that one in a second um, and show you how I kind of have it set up. And oh, this divider is really, really nice. It kind of is like that farmhouse style. And this is a secret ingredient is always love, happiness is homemade, and it's just like a repeat of those. And then you get into more recipe pages. Here, there's never enough time, which is super cute. A little play on words there. And I like the little lemon touches and um, the little um, artichoke. I almost called that asparagus, but artichoke. And then this divider says happiness is homemade. Super cute. So it looks like they have a different color for the different pages and the different sections. And then here, this is another outlined graphic. Um, but these are not outlined in the foiling. They're just outlined in white. And then it says the secret ingredient is always love. Really, really cute. Oh, I like the, the flip side to that one. Breakfast, a lot of citrus slices. Really fresh looking. Kind of makes you thirsty, you know, like for orange juice or something. Um, this divider says a party without cake is just a meeting. Um, and it's a quote by Julia Child. And then back here you have, oh, I love this divider. So much like 
so much foiling. It's so pretty. Where there's a whisk, there's a way. Super cute. And this is your miscellaneous section. So I guess for all of those recipes that don't want to fall under any of the other categories, or maybe you could use this for like party recipes or for large crowds or something like that. Um, but this is really, really adorable. So I love it. But again, I'm, I love it most for the cover. Not gonna lie, I got this as a really, really good deal. I had a coupon, I had um, a gift card that I used toward this um, this whole online order. Uh, if you guys remember me talking about that, but again, that was so long ago. But I have some stickers here that I wanted to incorporate. Well, these not so much. I don't know why I have these out. Maybe they just kind of, maybe for the little teacup or something, I don't know. But these I got at Hobby Lobby and they're just like little cooking stickers, which I really like. I like the see-through stickers because then you can kind of put them down and um, even put them on something like this, something see-through and make a divider or something like that. So I wanna start using the stickers. And I don't have the Happy Planner sticker, food stickers book. I don't have that, but I would like to um, get that eventually. So here, this is, sorry, I went too fast. This is, an, every day is a fresh start. And um, this was such a cute binder too, not binder, but recipe keeper. I really like it. Um, I always meant to put some like metal discs on here, but I just never got around to it, I guess. So it says Bon Appetit. Um, this favorite recipe collection belongs to, and I put my name here. So that's that. And these dividers are super fun too. So I wouldn't necessarily count these out. Um, and I may end up making like one large recipe keeper because that's kind of like the direction I'm going into. And eventually like I would like to hand it off to one of my nieces. Um, one of my nieces likes to cook more than the other, but you know, that could change, you know, they're just in their early twenties. Um, so I would like to you know, maybe prep it to pass along at some point. So this is a divider section for favorites. And same thing, this one is main dishes. How cute is this divider? Seriously, good food, good mood. And it has like the gold foiling on like a, um, like a Dutch oven. So this is crock pot chicken and gravy. Some of these recipes, as you can see, I've already um, recorded in here. So I have crock pot chicken and gravy. I have slow cooker chicken enchilada casserole. I have pesto chicken with lemony couscous. This is a HelloFresh recipe that I just copied down. We ordered for quite some time. We had HelloFresh delivery. No, not for quite some time, at a couple different times. Um, we always used like their promotion. And um, this was one of the recipes and I wanted to make sure that I recorded it because I definitely wanted to cook this again just with our own ingredients. A lot of HelloFresh recipes are like that. They all come with a recipe card. Don't throw those away because they are delicious recipes, seriously. And uh, most of them are really, really quick and easy and um, foolproof. So if you have them and you want to hold on to them, you can do like I did and copy them in here or just like tuck them in here some way. Um, chicken and noodles casserole, chicken and rice casserole. So this was um, taco pie, pepper steak. I just made this. Um, this is in our meal plan for the week. We just had this last night. So savory chicken, lasagna, and that's that. Small dishes. They have, ta um, I should be showing you the divider. Let's gather. I almost like these dividers better than in the other one. So I could end up using these instead. Tater tot casserole. This is kind of like a side dish. Um, stuffed mushrooms. This is absolutely my favorite, favorite stuffed mushroom recipe ever. And I don't even use the recipe anymore, to be honest, but I wanted to write it down just so I would have it. It's outstanding. Seriously, it is so delicious. So let's go to soups and salads and just a nice big fresh bowl of salad. As you can see, I mean, I didn't populate all of this healthy. Farmer's Market Finds and Brunch Society. I love this divider. I think it's absolutely adorable. So this is um, the divider for breakfast. Cheesy egg crescent roll casserole. This is so good, guys. I can't stress that enough. We make this every Christmas morning for like the past three years. And 
everybody loves it. It's delicious. It's a little bit time intensive. It takes a long time to bake. Um, I think, what do I have down here? 25, 30 minutes. There is no way. Um, that's kind of funny, but for us, it usually takes like an upwards of an hour for everything to be set for the eggs to be set and everything, but it is so, so good. Um, Swiss and bacon quiche sausage and spinach quiche. We love quiche as you can see going on to desserts. Life is too short to skip dessert. I don't have any recipes down there. And the miscellaneous tab says, don't be eye candy, be soul food. That's really cute. And then I have firecracker Cheez-Its. Oh, so good. If you like Cheez-Its and you like things like a little bit spicy, you will like be addicted to these. They are so good. Um, we made these over Christmas time too, just as like a snack to have around. And then I made my niece, um, an extra large batch, batch to take back with her to college. Oh my gosh, she loved it. And popovers. This is something that I've been making for a really long time too. I can't remember where I got the original recipe, but we love making popovers when we have like a sit down family dinner. It's just a roll. Um, that's all it is. It's really simplistic. As you can see, there's very few ingredients, eggs, flour, milk, and salt, but there's just something about them and they're so light and airy and, um, they're just delicious. So we just, I like to spend the extra time to make those when we have like a nice dinner. So that is it. That is my recipe keeper so far. I want to start writing out more of my recipes. And like I said, I may use some extra large happy planner discs and kind of like marry the two like combine them end up using this cover but maybe more so with these dividers because I think the dividers in here are a little bit cuter but anyway we'll see how it goes and I want to use my stickers and decorate a little bit more just make it a really really fun book but I'm going to be back I'm going to do some recipe journal with me and it's not really so much of a journaling but just kind of like a write out a recipe with me so we can have like a little chatty video and we can talk about recipes and food and whatever i'm writing down and stuff like that so hopefully that's something you guys will enjoy please let me know down in the comments if that would be something you'd be interested in um i'm really trying to make videos that you guys want to watch and things that you guys would be like i said very interested in if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already done so i hope that you're staying well and that you're safe and you're happy and that i see you guys in my next video take care mm -hmm.